Buenas tardes, Senor Carlos, Mr. President, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Words alone cannot express how honoured I am to be here, to address you today at the launch of the Simon Bolivar Institute for Peace and Solidarity Among Peoples. Today is my birthday. I am 77 years old or young. Take your pick. To be here with you, the people of Venezuela, is the best of birthday presents. So thank you. Okay. <clears throat> I have many things in common with your founding father, Simon Bolivar. Here are two. Number one, he was obsessed with education. He said, the first duty of a government is to give education to the people. Wow. He really hit the nail on the head. Without education, what is the use of democracy? An ill-educated electorate falls easy prey to propaganda. Also, he says, give education to the people. That means education from preschool through university free for everyone. What else does everyone need? Food, shelter, health care. All the things we associate with the socialist welfare state. So, fundamentally, Simon Bolivar promotes el derecho de vivir en paz, as Victor Hara had it. This brings me to the second thing I have in common with the great man, a belief in human rights. Simon Bolivar died in 1830. 118 years later, after two world wars, the nations of the world got together in Paris and drafted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Simon Bolivar would have thrown his hat into the air. Last week, in an interview, I said that if all nations adhered under an accepted rule of international law to the 30 articles of that great document from Paris in 1948, the greater part of our problems would disappear overnight. Sadly, all nations do not adhere to those 30 articles. The imperial aspirations of long-dead European kings still foul this beautiful planet we call home. Here in Venezuela, the people are suffering under a deadly siege by the United States of America and its acolytes, an economic siege that contravenes all international laws, treaties and accords. The Venezuelan people's resistance in the tradition of Comandante Chavez is heroic and, be assured, you do not stand alone. Everywhere around the world, where the people take to the streets to resist the deadly force of the capitalist unipolar machine, they do so in part in solidarity with you. They understand that it is only together that we can resist the empire's headlong rush to destroy our planet on the altar of increasing the wealth, the extreme wealth of the very few. So, with all my heart, I add my welcome to you, Instituto Simón Bolívar. We, 
all the peoples of the world, whatever our colour or religion or nationality, need you reaching out as you are from behind the walls of your besiegement to help lead us all out of this darkness towards the light. Gracias. Thank you.